What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to video edit your videos and keep your views. So choose a video that you want to edit. This one I'm going to choose. This is my newest video. And then go to editor, select editor. So right now I was in video manager under my videos and then click on editor on the left. And right here is my video. I'm gonna preview that. What's up guys? This is now if you want to edit a section out, I say you want to delete a small piece of like a clip in the middle of your video and keep your video views, you could totally do that. So what you're probably would were doing like I was doing is this. You click on trim, right? And then you hit split. And then over here, you hit split again. And then you're thinking that, oh, I can't delete it. Why can't I delete it, right? Oh, oh there's an X, so I can click on that X and delete it. No, that's an undo split button. It's like clicking undo, all right? That's undoing everything you did. And that's why you can't save it. See, I can't save that. What you need to do is this, is find a spot where you wanna go ahead and delete. Right here. All right, so right there, I want to go ahead and start that split. I want the beginning of that clip out, and then go ahead and hit spacebar. All right, so there's my next scene. I want to go back that back up a little bit. All right, I'm going to hit spacebar a couple times just so I could creep up to that part. All right, so I did it right about there. So what you want to do is left click. Not don't touch the um, timeline marker with the white dot. You want to left click the blue line and then drag it hold left click and then drag it over to right where that timeline marker is and then let go do not click on the X that's undoing your split all right and once you do that then you're done that's the deleted scene that's <laughs> there's no delete button you just hit preview and you notice you can't save it just basically hit preview okay and see if it skips over you can do it also for your legends ultimate arcade all right so that worked now you can actually do it again and again throughout the whole video and if you want to do the beginning once again you just click on the beginning Okay, edit, and then click on that beginning right there, and then drag it, and see how it's dark. If it's darkened, then it's going to be deleted. I don't want that darkened, because <laughs> I don't want it to be deleted. And so you could do it a bunch of times all over, and then hit preview. All right, once you hit preview, then you can hit save, and that will save your video and save your video views and your tags and your comments and all that good stuff but if you click on the three dots then you can save as new now I highly suggest saving as new only if your video is really long and you want a short cliff note part of your video let's say uh, your video is a tutorial and your tutorial is like an hour long well you can go through it shorten it up show the highlights of the repair or of your tutorial and then click save as new and then you could title it short version you click on save that's going to save the new edit format and keep your video views which is great i love this is actually a good editor if you know how to use it and it's decent it's great that they have this option 
and before you couldn't edit any videos that are over 100,000 views but now you can you can edit a video that has over 1 million views which is great to edit blurs if you want to blur someone's face out then that's a separate video but hopefully this video did help you out and if it did give me a thumbs up and subscribe share this video to anyone that you know is a youtuber they may find this video useful and helpful thank you for watching